So as the title of the video tells you, Microsoft are retiring their MTA, the Microsoft Technology Associate Exams. Last day will be the 30th of June 1920. Now this, uh, these slides are actually from an earlier presentation, so I'm going to run through quick. But just what I, in fact I'll do this first, I'll just go through the MTA and why I think they're so valuable and why you should be taking some before the... Um, the final date comes there's so many topics you can learn at a very basic level and you don't often get to do that in IT even the entry level say A plus or network plus is around three months of studying and it's a very tough exam and they also expire after a while so if we just go through uh, I'll go through this quickly because um, I'll link to the actual original video in the description you don't need to know anything um, you'll have a Microsoft certification on your resume, which is really valuable. Obviously, they're a massive company. Um, how you get found is on database searches, for example, Server 2016, which you can add on if you pass their um, server exam. You obviously can add the logo on your business um, websites and business cards. Very cheap to take. Um, you don't need to renew because they, uh, they last forever. You can normally study with free downloads and again I'm going through this quick because this is a repeat of the original uh, slides which I'll, I'll link in the description. You don't normally need study guides either because the topic is quite a small one. Um, you could maybe put a one to five days into most of the topics, some may be a little bit longer, for example if you want to learn databases from scratch. So around 10 hours per certification and again that varies. Perfect if you don't want to go all the way through advanced Microsoft certifications. Now these two are also expiring so you won't be able to take them. And Microsoft have gone full into the Azure and um, 365 sphere. Don't know why they're doing it but they are. So you'll know what to um, if you're going to enjoy doing more Microsoft without wa wasting months and thousands of hours. Again, I've mentioned job searches, so you'll be found on that particular technology. Perfect for entry level, so desktop support and uh, basic network support, basic security support, database support. If you're very busy and want to pass an exam, but you're just struggling to get motivated, I highly recommend doing the MTA also, because you get into good habits and you'll get a quick, uh, easy win and it's cheap. They never expire, so this is why I'm saying pass them before um, the end of June 2022 because you can keep them on your resume forever. Most of them you've got to reset uh, for other vendors and other Microsoft exams. All right, and then the other really big win is it's around 80% um, or, or so of many of the other certifications. So Windows operating systems covered in A+, servers covered in Network+, loads of crossover um, and I've, I've already mentioned security at the start. The MTA hits smack in the middle. They're easy to pass, they're cheap to take and they're valuable to your career and it's very few certifications hit all of these three and um, so this is why I'm recommending it. Uh, if you go to Microsoft uh, website you can browse their certifications I'm going to, um, oh I've got a plan here, pass one or more before um, the expiration date and then keep them for life. So I'm just going to go to their announcement. You can um, go, uh, you could probably Google MTA retirement FAQs I guess for the uh, questions from Microsoft. Why are they doing it? Um, they've obviously put a reason here. Uh, they're looking to expand role-based learning. So I think they're basically pushing their Microsoft 365 and Azure. So um, it doesn't really hold much water for me this because um, for database and security I don't see why they're um, retiring those and some of the others like JavaScript because it doesn't really fit in with uh, Azure. But there you go. Uh, which replacement? So basically they're saying take their fundamental certifications. Problem with this is if you go to, uh, in fact I'll just click on this. So a lot of these really you probably wouldn't be interested in. Security, yes, but then foundation in Microsoft Dynamics, Power Platform, AI, it's just all too specialised for most of us. Now if you really want to go into Azure then obviously I'm thinking the only one really is the um, Azure Fundamentals if you're interested in desktop support as I said. So none of these are really 
um, adequate replacements for the MTAs. I personally think it's a mistake, not that they, I'm sure they don't care what I think. So you can't have licenses for purchase after um, the 30th of June, but you'll be able to take the, um, you'll have until June 2022 to register to take the exam. I'm not sure what they mean by selling licenses. I think maybe they're training. Um, can you pass uh, before the 30th of June? If you pass uh, prior to this, you'll earn the certification. You'll no longer be able to purchase uh, vouchers after um, June 30th, 2021. But you can obviously book direct with the uh, exam vendor. Uh, before the exams expire, you have to pass. That's pretty obvious. Uh, again, you can't... Um, MTA will be required on or before the 30th of June. So if you think you're going to have to retake, you shouldn't really because they're so easy. You need to pass before. And nothing happens to the MTA. They will remain on your Microsoft transcript. So again, this is an exam that you'll have for life. Uh, you'll continue to have your um, certification dashboard and your badge through their credly acclaim indefinitely. So this is what you'll send to your employers to prove that you've passed. Uh, and then there's a certificate of retirement, uh, retirement. So these are, you can see that they don't replace these with their, fund, with their new fundamental type of exams. Database administration, HTML5, loads of great coding stuff here. Uh, introduction to Python is really handy. Network fundamentals, very handy. These are all great certifications to have. So it's a shame because they're not actually being replaced as such with anything equivalent. So have a look at the list and see what's of interest to you. On howtonetwork.com um, we've got uh, some of the good ones. We've got database fundamentals. Everyone should know the basics of fundamentals. So we talk you through that. Um, Windows 10 basically, Windows operating systems, Windows Server, uh, MTA security fundamentals. We've actually got the Python as well. I forgot to, I think I've added that since um, I did these original slides. So we've got the Python 2. So I highly recommend it's only going to take you um, maybe a week, could be less, could be a little bit more, but um, you really need to put this as a priority if you ever planned on getting them. Underneath this video, there's a link. Um, you can go to howtonetwork.com forward slash YouTube um, or the main website to browse, otherwise, YouTube to get the deal. There's loads more courses, Cisco Security, Wireshark, Linux, Project Management, just a whole bunch, so have a look. We've got live Cisco racks, unlimited practices exams, and career training, exam strategy support. So um, please do come over. Please, um, again, put this as a priority. Just move your other stuff back by a week or two, and then you can always resume. So that's the news. Thanks for listening.